Video conferences. I've asked my guest, an experienced marketing manager, to tell us about the advantages and disadvantages of video conferences. Hi, and thanks for your time. Not at all, Laurie. So what can you tell us about this modern system of communication? Well, although the initial investment in equipment may seem quite large, particularly for a smaller business, it saves the company thousands of dollars in time and money, especially for the salesmen and marketing personnel who would be traveling to meetings in all four corners of the globe. That's true. However... Ah, I knew there was a catch. <laughs> yes, of course. There are disadvantages to the system, too. I think you will find that many salespeople feel that they have lost the personal element in meetings of this sort. The close-up, physical, natural, see-the-whites-of-their-eyes feeling. The whole situation becomes far more technical and less personal, even though you can see the people on the screen. There's a kind of invisible barrier that goes up between the parties. Yes, I see what you mean. So what kind of things should we pay attention to when holding a video conference? Well, obviously you want a good connection. You know, one where the picture doesn't freeze all the time. You need to coordinate all technical matters with your IT staff in advance to avoid wasting time when we come to money time. Yes, of course. And once we are set up and running? Dress is important. Bright colors such as red, green and orange are problematical for the cameras. And so are shirts and ties with stripes and other loud patterns. Try to remember to wear plain clothes in light colors if you don't want the other team to be distracted by the hazy picture on the screen. Good point. I hadn't thought about that. If you are sitting with your back to a large window, close the blind. You don't want to broadcast pictures of the tea lady wheeling her trolley along or a couple of managers arguing in the corridor behind you or cars arriving or departing from the parking lot, depending on the view. Oh, dear. Something else that can disturb the flow of the video conference is background noise. Modern microphones are very sensitive and can pick up, amplify, and transmit sounds in the room that you think are insignificant. For example, a person leafing through papers on the table, chairs being moved, people whispering comments to each other, and so on. These are a major distraction for the other side, who may also be able to actually hear your secret instructions. What about mobile phones and other beepers? Oh, yes. Off. Definitely. You should have a mute button on your video equipment, so use it. Then no noise will be transferred from your side to the other side while they are presenting. Don't forget to turn it back on, though, when it's your turn to talk again. How should we speak? As clearly as possible. Talk in the general direction of the microphones, but try to speak naturally. There is no need to raise your voice or shout. At the beginning of the conference, it can be useful for everybody to introduce themselves. As well as both teams getting familiar with each other, you are also running a kind of sound test. This is a good opportunity to tell the other side if one of their team is sitting too far from the microphone and can't be seen or heard. Right. Remember to look at the camera when you are talking. The other side will feel that you are talking directly to them. Once the discussion has started, give the other team time to react to your statements and questions. This is particularly important if you have a slow connection or if they are on the other side of the world. Do you remember when this technology was first used on television and the newsreader in the studio would keep cutting off the poor reporter in Washington before he heard the question? Oh, yes. Try not to make the same mistake, and don't interrupt for the same reason. It is difficult enough to manage a video conference without people speaking out of turn. Make a note and present your point when it's your turn. Also, waving hands about in sharp or sudden and big movements are not recommended unless you have top video equipment, as it just makes the picture blurred and unclear. We're almost finished. What about question time? As the other team cannot see exactly who you are looking at, it is a good idea to say the name of the person to whom you are directing the question. Then you will hopefully get the answer you were looking for. You've certainly answered all my questions. Thanks once again for your input on this issue. No problem. <laughs>